Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with a pretty huge pre-Christmas slash birthday book haul unboxing. I got a lot of stuff here to show you guys. So as many of you may know, my birthday is on Christmas Eve, so I get my birthday presents and my Christmas presents at the exact same time of the year, and usually the only thing I pretty much ask for are books. So last year I filmed a birthday slash Christmas book haul that just combined all of those and doubled for my December book haul, and I'm still planning on doing that this year, but right now I have a lot of books that I still need to show you guys, and these are going to make that book haul way too long if I just wait until the end of December to do it. So this is like a pre-Christmas birthday book haul, plus kind of like a Black Friday book haul because most of the books that I have to show you guys here are actually from the book outlet Black Friday sale because I placed an order from them because they had an amazing sale. So I have a lot of things to show you guys. I have these two huge boxes right here that are really heavy, plus like four more books, and it's just a lot of stuff. So without any further ado, let's just get into it. So starting off with this first box, actually, this was sent to me by Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment and it's to celebrate the release of The Big Friendly Giant, the book by Ronald Dahl that was just turned into a movie. The DVD was just released, so they emailed me and asked me if they could send me this little like holiday gift package to unbox on my channel, and I gladly said yes because I've been wanting to see that movie for a long time and I love Ronald Dahl's work, so I'm super, super excited to get into this, so let's just open it up and see what's inside. Okay, paper. That was fun. Okay, the first thing that I'm seeing is this little, I think this is a notebook for the big friendly giant. Yeah, it's a dream journal and that is so, so cute. If you follow me on Tumblr, you probably know that I'm really into journaling. I have like multiple journals and I don't have a dream journal yet. So this is really exciting and I love the cover of it. It's like the movie cover, it's adorable. The next thing that I'm seeing in here is a copy of the book, The Big Friendly Giant by Ronald Dahl. I am so excited to read this. I'm pretty sure I read this as a kid, but I can't fully remember, so I'm super excited to own it now because I'm definitely going to read it and then watch the movie. And the next thing goes perfectly with that because it is a copy of the Blu-ray and DVD of the movie. I'm probably gonna go watch this tonight because I've been wanting to see it for a long time now, and it looks like it's going to be adorable. It was directed by Steven Spielberg, who's a fantastic director, and I just cannot wait to watch it and see if I enjoy it. Oh my god, okay, so then the next thing in here I'm probably like the most excited about because I'm like super nerdy and really into these, but it is a Funko Pop of the big friendly giant and he is so cute. Do you see him? I'm gonna take him out of the box. Okay, he is like adorable. I am in love with him. I love Funko Pops. I have three of them. I have Tauriel from the Hobbit movies. I have Harry Potter and I have Hermione Granger in the Yule Ball dress. Um, I'm not like a huge collector of them. There are a few more that I want, but I just think they're like the most adorable thing in the world. And this one is so, so cute. I didn't even know they had Funko Pops for the big friendly giant but I love him. This one is like super, super detailed. I don't think you can see it as well on camera, but it's just adorable. He's definitely going to sit on my bookshelf. I love him. Okay, so then the next thing in here is also super cool. It's this wooden pen that has this engraving on it that says the big friendly giant. And this is definitely made of like real wood. Like you can definitely feel it, but it's like an actual pen. I'm super into like cool pens. I can use this to write in the dream journal that came in here, which is adorable. I love this. The next two things I'm seeing in here are these little gloves sticks. I love these things. We used to like wear these all the time on Halloween when I was a kid because we were little and your parents didn't want you to get lost or something so they just put glow sticks on you but then every kid had a glow stick so everyone would get lost. I don't even know. I'm gonna wear the blue one for the rest of the video just because. The next thing that I see in here is this leather bookmark that has an engraving on it as well. It says um, BFG for Big Friendly Giant and then there's a quote on it that says I catch dreams. This one looks like you which is adorable. This is like legit leather because I can actually smell it. But this is adorable, I love that. And then the last thing in here is this little jar that says the BFG and I think this is just like, it's kind of like a little mason jar, um, but I'm pretty sure you can just like put whatever you want in here. It's just one of those reusable jars, but it's really, really cute. I think this would be like perfect for pictures. And actually, if you wanted to like melt some wax into here and turn this into a candle, that would also be really cool. So that is everything that was in the Big Friendly Giant box. And I will leave links to where you can purchase the book and the movie for the Big Friendly Giant in the description below if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. And again, a huge thank you to Disney Home Entertainment for sending over this box. I absolutely loved everything that was in here and I am so excited to finally watch 
watch the film. All right, so moving right along to the book outlet order that I made. On Black Friday, I put in an order for 14 books from Book Outlet, and all of that came to $60, which is just crazy. I love Book Outlet with every fiber of my being. And if you didn't know, I'm a Book Outlet vlogger friend, so I have a page on their website where you can see all of the books that I've purchased from them, including all the ones in this haul. So I will leave that link in the description box so you can go and check out my page if you're interested in getting any of these books for yourself. But this is the box right here, and it's really, really heavy, so let's just get into it. Okay, this is super, super full, so let's just dive in. So I'm just gonna be taking things right off the top as I see them. The first thing that is in here is this little book of love poems. This is a little collection of some of Pablo Nuera's love poems. He was a Chilean poet who was writing in like the 50s and 60s, and I absolutely love his poetry. I've never read like a full collection of it, but I've read individual ones, and they're just so, so beautiful. So when I saw that this collection was on Book Outlet, I definitely had to get myself a copy because first of all, it's like absolutely gorgeous, and second of all, I really want to read some more of his poetry, so I'm really happy to have this. The next book I got is The Martian by Andy Weir. I have been hearing about this book for like a few years now. I don't even remember when it came out. I think it was 2014 or 2015, and everyone read it then. It got turned into a movie with Matt Damon, and I felt really out of the loop for a while, so I decided that I would just get a copy for myself so I can finally read it. I don't really know much about this book aside from the fact that it's about this astronaut who goes to Mars, and I've heard that it's really funny, so I am super excited to dive in and see what I finally think. The next book in here is a copy of Jane Eyre. This is the Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition. I have a copy of Emma in this edition, as well as a copy of The Dubliners by James Joyce, and I love the Penguin Classics Deluxe Editions because they have these gorgeous deckled edges. The cover art is always so beautiful, and then they have like these inside flaps that also have artwork, and they're just so, so pretty. I've actually yet to read Jane Eyre, but I own like this really pretty hardcover edition of it, but I like don't want to touch it because it's really nice and like really pristine looking right now, so I decided that I would just get this copy of it and I'll just read this one up, and if I want to mark it up, I definitely can. And the cover art, again, is just like so beautiful, so I really wanted to own this edition of it. I seriously got like a really random assortment of things. I have like adult novels, classics, poetry, children's comics, like so many things in here. It's kind of crazy. The next thing in here I'm super excited about, and that is the Earth Kingdom Chronicles collection of the Avatar The Last Airbender stories. So as many of you know, I am a huge Avatar The Last Airbender fan. It is like my favorite TV show that has ever existed, and when I saw that they had some Avatar stuff on Book Outlet, I had to, like had to, had to grab myself some of them because I am obsessed with the Avatar universe. So this isn't actually the only Avatar related thing that I have in this haul. I will get to the other ones later when I find them and everything else in the box. But this is a collection of I think four short stories from the Earth Kingdom and we get a story about Azula, Toph, Sokka, and Aang as they're in the Earth Kingdom. So I'm super excited to read through this. I'm always looking for anything else within that universe. So when I saw that this existed I was just like over the moon and I can't wait to read it. The next book that I have in here is What is Not Yours is Not Yours. It's a collection of short stories by Helen Oyemi. She's the author of the book Boy Snowbird, which I also own but have yet to read. This book was just released in 2016, I believe, and it's been getting really, really great reviews. I don't really know too much about it actually at all. Um, I've just been hearing fantastic things about it, and I saw that it was on Book Outlet and super cheap, so I wanted to get myself a copy. I've also been wanting to get into more short story collections because I don't really read many novellas and things like that. I just tend to read just straight up novels, and I want to try out some novellas as well, so I thought that this would be a good one to start with. All right, so the next book that I have here is Hear the Wind Sing and Pinball 1973 by Haruki Murakami. I've seen a lot of Murakami's books going around because he's very, very well known in the literary world, and I've heard a lot of people say that he is one of the best magical realism writers, so I've been wanting to read some of his books for a very long time. And honestly, I have absolutely no idea what these two books are about, or I believe they're actually just short stories, but they are his first two short stories, so I thought that if I wanted to start reading some more of his work. I should probably start with the first ones that he put out, so that's what I decided to do. And as you saw, I flipped the book over because we have one story, Hear the Wind Sing, which is this way, and then when you turn the book over, you have Pinball 1973, so the book is like right side up this way, and then it's upside down that way, so it's like kind of confusing, but it's also a little bit fun. <laughs> but again, like I said, I really have no idea what these two short stories are about. I really just want to go 
go into it and be completely surprised. I'm really excited to try out his writing and see what I think of it. And if any of you guys have ever read any of his work, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below and which other books you think that I should get to, because after I finish these, I definitely think I want to pick up some more if I really end up liking them. All right, so this next book that I have here, I saw on Book Outlet and I was just absolutely blown away with this cover. And I've never actually read this story before. And that is Snow White by the Brothers Grimm. This is this beautifully designed edition of the story. It's super short, like really, really thin. This is probably like 50 pages or something, not long at all. It's also illustrated, but I just love this cover so much and this artwork is so beautiful. And also when you take the dust jacket off, the hard cover itself feels, it's like really fabric-y and it has like these other designs all over it. And it's just like the coolest thing ever. I love this edition of it. Plus, as we all know, I love beautiful book covers and I like collecting pretty books. So I think it is a perfect one to own. The next book that I have here is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I've actually already read this book, but I didn't own a copy of it. So when I saw it on Book Outlet, I decided it was the perfect time to pick it up. I absolutely loved The Sun is Also a Star. It is one of my favorite books I've ever read. And I wanted to own her other book as well because I really did enjoy this one too and I actually have her other book to show you guys later on in this haul. But again, I just like adore the cover of this book. The design is just so gorgeous and I'm really happy to own it so I can reread it whenever I want. The next book that I have here is Radiance by Catherine M. Valente. I've been seeing this book in like every bookstore that I go to and the cover of it just draws me in every single time I see it, but I never knew what it was about. So when I saw it on Book Outlet, I read the little synopsis and I'm just gonna read you guys the first sentence because honestly, this is like the coolest first sentence of any synopsis I've ever heard. So it says, Radiance is a deco-punk pulp science fiction alt history space opera mystery set in a Hollywood and solar system very different from our own. And I don't know about you, but if that sentence alone doesn't pique your interest, I don't know what will because that just sounds like the coolest thing in the world to me. So yeah, that's all I really know about what this book is about. It sounds like it's going to be literally epic and I'm so excited to read it. The next book that I have here is The Wizard of Oz in this Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition. And I just noticed that I actually have a lot of classic books in this book haul. Um, I don't know what it is. I just really like collecting pretty editions of classic books and this one definitely qualifies because this cover is absolutely stunning. The entire thing looks like it's threaded so the image like actually is threaded. You can feel like kind of like a texture of it but like you can definitely see that like when they took the picture of this they just like stitched this and it looks so so cool. I don't know how well it comes across on camera but like in person it looks amazing. Again this is just another classic book that I have seen the movie for but I've never read the book and I've been wanting to read it for a very long time. I want to know if I'll like the actual written story so I thought that it would be a good time to pick it up. Okay also I just opened up the book because it's the deluxe edition so it has like the inside flaps but the inside of the inside flap literally has like the back stitching of the front image and that is genuinely the coolest thing I've ever seen. Props to whoever at Penguin who designs these because they're just so gorgeous. Nothing compares. The next book that I have here is The Walls Around Us by Noba Ren Suma. Again, I don't know too much about this story because I was just kind of picking out books that I hadn't really heard much about and I just wanted to like experience some new things because I felt like I'd been reading a lot of pretty popular fiction lately and I wanted to just like try out some things that I hadn't heard of. But I had read the little summary on the back of this and I want to read it to you guys now because this like really drew me into it. It says, Oris is dead because of what happened happened out behind the theater, in the tunnel made out of trees. She's dead because she got sent to that place upstate, locked up with those monsters, and she got sent there because of me. And I don't know what it is, that just like sounded really cool to me. It sounds like it's going to be really mysterious and really adventurous, so I'm really just excited to dive into this and experience something totally new. The next book that I have here I'm super excited about, and that is Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. This book is inspired by Jane Eyre, and it's like a modernized kind of like satirical retelling of it, and it's about a girl named Jane who is actually a serial killer, I believe, or at least she has like some murderous past. I don't know too much about it, but it just sounds super super cool and again it's had fantastic reviews and I planned that I want to read Jane Eyre first and then get to this one afterwards so that one's kind of fresh in my mind so I can see like more of the connections to the original story. So I'm really happy to have this one now and I'm so excited to read both of those books back to back and hopefully I really enjoy this one. And finally the last two books I have from Book Outlet are Smoke and Shadow Part 1 and 2 from the Avatar The Last Airbender comics and I am so excited about these. So I've been wanting to read some more graphic novels lately because I hadn't read 
any new ones for a while and I've just kind of been missing it and I saw that they had these on book outlet and I swear to you I like actually screamed a little bit because I was so excited about it even like through all of these years I have still yet to read any of the Avatar comics and that's just like blasphemous so I am so excited to finally own these and I can't wait to read them. I don't know what these two are actually about. I know that there's an entire like set of the comics that are about like Zuko's mom and like that whole plot line and I've really been wanting to read those but I don't think that's what these two are about but I'm still really excited to just like go into it and explore more of the Avatar world. I have this now as well as the Earth Kingdom Chronicles so I'm probably just gonna have like an Avatar day coming up pretty soon and just like sit down and read and watch all the Avatar things and I just can't wait for it. So that is everything that I ordered from Book Outlet. 14 books so it was a lot but I am super excited about all of them and I can't wait to start reading. And finally moving into the last stretch of this unboxing slash book haul I have four more books to show you guys and they are some books that I ordered myself and some that were sent to me so let's just get right in. This first one is actually one that I ordered from Book Outlet in my last haul but I just forgot to include it and that is All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders. From what I understand about this story it's about these two individuals Patricia and Lawrence and Patricia can talk to animals and Lawrence is very smart and he can like build this supercomputer and the two of them become friends when they're in middle school and then 10 years later they end up meeting again and never expected to see each other and at this time the world is kind of falling apart because this has like some magical elements to it and the two of them are kind of tasked with saving the world so that to me sounds like it's going to be a fantastic story it's also gotten some great reviews from what I've read on Goodreads and I'm just really really excited about this book and I'm hoping to really love this one the next book I have here is the other one that I was meant to include in my other book haul and that is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yu I already have a full review for this book up on my channel so I will leave it linked on the screen as well as down below if you would like to go watch it. But this is a book about these two teenagers named Natasha and Daniel and Natasha is a Jamaican immigrant and her family is about to be deported to Jamaica. And then there's also Daniel who's Korean American and he is just trying to get into college. And then the two of their paths cross one day and they fall in love and it's about their relationship but it's also about so so much more than that. This book just spoke to me on so many levels and I absolutely adore it. So I had to buy myself the finished hard copy because I actually read the ARC form of it and I wanted to pick up the finished copy and I saw this in Target and it was actually a signed first edition so it is signed and I'm very happy to own it and I definitely plan to be rereading this book several times in the coming years. The next book I have here I got in my bookly box for the month of November so I will leave that unboxing linked on the screen as well as down below if you'd like to go watch it. But that book is Afterward by Jennifer Matthew. This book is about this boy who goes missing and then the police end up finding him but then they also find this other kid who had gone missing years before and no one knows what had happened to them and neither of them can really talk about it because the experience was so traumatic. So this book deals with a lot of important issues like dealing with trauma and mental health and things like that so I'm very very excited to read it. In my unboxing video a lot of people said that they'd been really anticipating this book and some people had said that they'd already read it and really enjoyed it so I am very very excited about it and hopefully I enjoy it as well. And finally the very last book I have to show you guys in this haul was actually a surprise that was sent to me by Atria Books and that is I Found You by Lisa Jewell. All I really know about this book is that it is a mystery thriller novel about this woman who is living in this remote beach house and then there's this man who comes by and she actually invites him to come and stay with her even though she's kind of hesitant about him and I don't really want to know anything else about it because to me if it's like a mystery thriller I like to know nothing because then there's like no chance for spoiling anything and I like to be totally totally surprised surprised and in suspense while I'm reading it. So hopefully I really end up enjoying this one and it's as mysterious as I'm hoping it will be. Alright guys, so that is everything that was in this crazy huge book haul unboxing. Like I said, this is my pre-Christmas birthday book haul, so I will have another book haul coming up in December, so definitely be looking out for that one. But for now, let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of the books that I have mentioned or if you're interested in reading any of them. Also, let me know if you've watched The Big Friendly Giant or read the book and any of your thoughts on it. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media to keep up with any of my reading progress on any of these books, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!